She would bounce up off the floor. Yeah, it was the instant replay. To determine the difference between the pressure from outside to inside. Try to get my left. Did we ever get the test report in the back on that? Yeah, yeah. I uh, scanned the finder. We're going to find a constant at 25, um, uh, 25 Pascal, which is our beta. So what it's going to do is it's going to spin fast enough to get to 25 Pascal. Okay. So whatever energy it needs to get to that point is what we'll take. Okay. Okay. Now, if we can't get there, and this is the most open that it can be, what happens is, is that the... Uh, calculations in the computer will automatically adjust for the losses. So if we have a super tight house, we may not get up to 25 Pascal. It might be six. Okay. Six is in for what you're in looking for. term, what does that mean? That means it's tight, okay. real tight. That means you're not getting in hardly any. You're you're getting very little air. Okay. Through this fan to measure, okay. which is what you're looking for. Right. And this from this we'll be able to determine how much mechanical air. Right. Uh, we we'll built this whole house with the concept that we're going to take in the air through the mechanical system. Right. So at night when we're sleeping, the air comes in, goes through the uh, air recovery ventilation system, through our mechanical filter, which is a HEPA filter, right. cleaned of all the pollens and allergies and dust and particles and all that, and then is circulated into the, into the uh, residence. So really, in theory, our concept of building this house is to have fresher air inside than there is outside. Right, which is yeah, which is very very important because right. today we spend you know ninety percent of our time in the house, right. and the house is much more polluted inside than it is outside. That's right. And one of the things that people forget is you know with window companies and other uh, uh, other companies that uh, provide services is what they're doing is they're cutting off the fresh air supply, right, rather than working at getting rid of the uh, polluted air, which just comes from your attic, right, yeah. basement, crawl space, and things of that sure. nature. What you've done is you bypass that by insulating, making the thermal envelope on the outside of the house. Right. And then we can bring in the fresh air through mechanical ventilation. Cool. Well, let's yeah. get to fire this thing up. All right. Um, I think we got to go through and check the house out and uh, yeah. make sure it's all sealed. Right? Yeah. Shut absolutely. All the doors. All the doors shut. Okay. Troy's setting up his equipment and final prep here. We've gone through the house to make sure everything is sealed, all the uh, natural um, uh, places where there would normally be hardware, which is not on yet because we're not at that phase of construction. Again, this is a test that's required by LEED uh, to uh, become a LEED certified house prior to the installation of drywall. That's why you see all these rough 2 by 4s in their, in their raw state. So, right. well, let's, this, is the, this is the exciting part. Everybody okay. watch out. Okay. Pretty exciting, isn't it? Wow. Now we just got to let it do its job. It's funny. I thought it would go a, a lot faster than that. No. What it does is every two seconds it's taking a reading uh -huh. and it's trying to find out where it is as far as how much air is moving in in relationship to what's going on outside as far as the difference in Pascal from inside to outside. Okay. So it's going to take a minute or two. Okay. So basically it takes a little while to create that negative pressure Correct. onto the house. Uh, to where it's uh, uh, reaching basically maximum uh, yeah. bills around the house. Yeah, again, what we're looking for is 25 pascals okay. in this particular test. What is pascal? It's a unit of measurement of water column. Okay. There's, I, there's I, a lot of math we have to do to Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I asked that <laughs> One pascal would not blow out a match. No. See, the insulated guy is smarter than I am. Uh, <laughs> well, that's the business he's in. So. Okay. <laughs> Machine is only at 25 percent. We've already reached 25 pascal. That's amazing. I've never seen it do this ever. Ever. Wow. If this was not a house like this, I would say it's broken. But because of the way you've got it set up, right. this is right on target. Wow. This is right on target. Uh, if we want to uh, exaggerate, we can put it up to 50 pascals to see if we can get any more out of it. Yeah, let's go, try. go baby, go. Let's see if we can get this thing wound up. 
All right, we're at 50 pascals, and we're at 5.6. So we're less than six. Less than six. I thought it, I thought it'd be around six. You're at. Uh, Wow, you can see you're at 5.4. You can yeah, see that door bulging. Yeah, it's trying to pull itself into itself. Alright, we're at uh, 50 pascals at 5.0, which is. I've never seen that before. Wow, I've never seen that before. That's just. It's beautiful. Well, let's go see if we can find some leaks. Okay, let's go. That is tight. That's the tightest I've ever seen, ever. You actually may have to calculate, you may have to add another ERV. You, 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 may, you may not have enough. Well, the, uh, the scissors here measure 2.9, recommended 6, we're already 6.9.